welcome back and yes we will be uh, looking into the multi select in pega so for that we need uh, two things one multi select uh, i mean i mean three things one is multi select control one data type and uh, a page list property which will uh, refer the data type so let's first uh, run a case and we'll see how that is uh, useful in our uh, application so this is my case here when i'm running it here i'm going to select some skills here so skills like uh, like i have few things like pega here as one of the skills and uh, java also one of the skills so if you look here i have java then yes uh, and other than that we have some other skills also which you can see over here so once i submit this this will be available as a as an embedded page uh, in my PY work page if I go to the clipboard and check so in the clipboard you can see uh, you can see the PY work page in the PY work page uh, you have a skills here so in the skills you can see that whatever the skills I have added those are the, those are all saved into it but how do you do this how do you do it in this right so for that first you need required a one data type as I mentioned there is a skills data page uh, data type where I have took one property in it as a skill name and in the records I mentioned I mentioned skill names I mentioned skill names uh, uh, like these are the skill names which are there so now what I do is I create one page list property uh, in one of the sections so how do I create it so let's just, just go back to the uh, app explorer in the app explorer you will find one section so this is my section over here so I'll add another uh, 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 property like this data action so here let me see I think it's not available in data action instead it is available in picker so let me take multi select here so this is the multi select which it which we took uh, so here I'm going to add a page list property so here this is a page list property so what are the page list properties you have in your uh, class those only will be shown here so I already have skills so instead I'll use some other uh, property uh, let me take uh, <coughs> um, like uh, just I'll take like this uh, languages okay so I didn't create anything so let me create from over here so languages create and open so this should be a page list property so change that to a page list property so this page list property should refer uh, our skills one right so yeah let's select it yes so it should be manual So save. So once I save here, so you can see. So dot languages is already available. So for this multi select form, you have uh, different types like data page, clipboard, and report definition as sources. You can select any one of them. So I'm selecting data page. So what is the data page which I have to select from where it should come? It should come from the skills, right? So skills list. So what is the property name in the skills list? It is a skill name. So you can see, take the same thing, skill name over here, and submit it. Okay. So for time being, I'll delete this yeah submit actually this particular uh, skills has other things also but as I have already have skills as one property I took it as languages because uh, uh, if you see my example there are some other things which are not even language like Pega is not a language uh, coming to Postgres it's not a language so so don't get confused here just to change the name I took it as language instead of skills because skills is already there in my um, application so let me create the case yeah so can you see now language is there so as I mentioned here you can take Pega so yes Pega is there uh, Java so can have JS can have MySQL 
okay and submit so this is how you do the uh, multi select languages right so if you see you have all the things which you have selected thank you